Now that was a good presentation. Um, hi, Windows 7 Blogger here. Just finished reading up all the highlights from the Apple 4th event. Now every September, usually during the first week, Apple hold like an event when they talk about like the iPod, maybe about Apple TV, maybe the Mac books, mainly many of the other things which is not iPhone. And um, Steve Jobs has just finished the um, talk and I'm just going to quickly go through the highlights. Now he talked about, first of all, about the retail stores. So he's got 300 retail stores. We've come a long way, we're in 10 countries. And they said that they have almost a million, maybe even more, some days, you know, coming to their store. So that's really, really good. And then they talked quickly about iOS. 120 million iOS devices have been shipped. That is a huge amount. I mean, seriously, about all about technology. And about average 230,000 iOS activations per day. That doesn't include like the updates to so, like the 4.0, 4.1, and everything. Talking about 4.1, that is going to be released next week for the iPhone, the iPod Touch, and of course, if I had the, the iPad. And the fix many bugs, the proximity sensor. The Bluetooth and the issues from the iPhone 3G. They've now also released an update to the camera app, which is HDR, so taking a brighter video and then brighter video, brighter, well, it could be, you know, brighter photo, then a darker photo, combining both together with an original image to create a more HD and more better looking image. Now, I can't really show you, but if you have a look, there is a better quality um, picture from the one on the right to the left. They're showing a person in Shanghai. Game Center is also coming. We've got Angry Birds. That's going to be on the Game Center. And then they talk about a game called 4. If you like Fable 2 and you like a bit of that strategy action games, then 4 is a game for you. Running on the Unreal technology. That is amazing on one of these small devices. That's being released next week. Side note, do not update jailbreakers until we have further news. Then they talk about 4.2. Finally, printing. Finally. And AirPlay, which is basically streaming over from like Mac, PC, or even an external hard drive. So it's finally got the technology which normally a PS3 or 360 had. So we're finally catching up. So that's been released in November. Then they go on about talking about the iPods. Now you remember all the iPod shuffle. Remember the second gen and then the third gen. Many people, well they didn't complain, but it was like, well where's the buttons? Because it was all voice. They finally released it back. So it's basically going back to the second gen with the third gen bits to make the fourth gen with 15 hour battery. And it comes, if you have a quick look, in green, silver, blue, pink and orange and it's $49 for 2 gig, so about £49, it's not too bad. Then they go on about the iPod Nano, you can see the nice little 3x3 three three screen with running iOS and it can run up to a day, so that is amazing. Because it's using like Pacific batteries and didn't have a massive talk about that because it's quite big. Then we have a look. It comes in red, yellow, green, silver, blue, pink, or black. Very good quality. One four nine for the eight gig and one seven nine for the sixteen gig. So I'd say about the same prices for the UK. Maybe one two nine for the eight gig and one six nine for the sixteen gig. Now iPod Touch. Now there's been lots of rumours about front facing camera, back camera, retina display. It's got it. It's basically the iPhone without the phone book, which is brilliant for people who don't want to actually go on a contract or pay like £599 for it. It can run up to 40 hours on battery. I mean, seriously, this iPod Touch, you know, this is only the second gen, it hasn't barely been touched. And it's been running about three weeks and then barely been touched. So it's huge. Standby, it's gotta be. And we have a look. It's a bit wrong the wrong way. 
for 8 gig is 229, 32 gig is 299, 64 gig 399. Transferring it, say about the same price is probably about another 10 or 20 quid on the third gen because all the front facing cameras. You can pre order now. I'd rather if you are looking for a new iPod Touch or you know, a new iPod, I would go for the iPod Touch. And they're talking about like the iAds. You can run iMovie on the iPod Touch, it's so really powerful. Then they go on to talk about iTunes 10. iTunes 10, well, we just messed it up. Um, but basically, they're doing an update, and do you remember that icon? Well, they got rid of that, and it's now that nice little shiny icon. And they're bringing out a social networking called Ping. Ping, ping, ping. Sounds like a, um app. I won't check because I've got my other phone off. But it's basically Facebook and Twitter both together. We can now to see, oh, so, ah, so this person... What a Jack Johnson song, he hasn't been around for ages, but anyway. You can able to now, you know, listen to it and go, oh, I like that. Download it, no problem. You can also find your favourite artist, you can even find your friends via the Apple ID. That's what I'm aware of. And you can follow artists. So it's a bit like, very like Twitter. And then they talk about demos. And they're saying, you know, you can even upload. Say you went to a concert, say, you know, people who went to Reading. This is very interesting for you. You want to show all your pictures and you want to show the videos of all the artists. You can able to then tag them and then like say if a man other person wants to go, oh, so how would people go at Reading? What was that artist? Did they do well live? Then if they went live, you know, oh, really good. Download that track. So that's out today. And another side note to the jailbreakers, do not update. I'm not because, you know, I want to keep my lock unlock. Finally, they're talking about Apple TV. You know, if, I mean, can they remember something, you know, that massive big, is normally £229. You might not be able to see it, but it's like that. It's basically like that, but a bit more thicker. And then they talk about, it's got HDMI, so HD quality. 4 um, for movies, rentals, and for shows, 99 they're all rentals, but they're all commercial free. And you can access YouTube, you got mobile me if you've got all your protection to you, all your syncing from Mac to iPad, iPod Touch, and everything. So really, really good. The only con is is with the thirty you can able to download it, you know, normal thirty day. Brilliant. But as soon as you press that play button, you've only got two days to finish it off. That's not good in my opinion. But normally the Apple T V they're not calling it ITV, thank God. Um, it's normally about two hundred ninety nine, two hundred twenty nine pounds. I can't confirm. They've brought it down to ninety nine dollars in America, so it's about ninety nine pounds. That's pretty good for an Apple device, I have to admit. So they said, so here's what we've talked about today: new iPods, new Shuffle, new Nano. So it's more compact, that it's wearable. New iPod Touch, the strongest iPod lineup we've ever had. And then new iTunes with iTunes Pink. We think this is going to be very popular, very fast, and it's on your iPhone and iPod Touch. iOS 4.2, HDR photos, Game Center and Apple TV. A phenomenal way to watch movies and TV. So those are the products we have to launch today. That's what we're rolling out. Some today, most within four weeks. So at the moment, now we start to doing this music stuff because we love music. Wherever we have these friends, we like to remind ourselves that and why we do this, no better way of actually getting an artist to perform. And it's Chris Martin from Coldplay. Piano and everything. This is probably the toughest closing gig we've ever had. I don't have any products to reveal. And we don't have nearly as many downloads. I just play a song and then another and another you feel like it. Until you feel like, yeah, in America having lunch. So we go figure he's playing yellow. Doing another one, Fever La Vida. Well, look like the Apple TV won't get that name change after all. Curse you, will ITV. And then they talk about, you know, thanking all the devs, thanks for reading. Ha, huh, Chris Martin, this is a new song we're doing. It's called Coldplay 2.6. It features seven chords, none of our competitors have it. John Ivory designed it. It's the key of I minor. <laughs> we think we got all that. The audience was in hysterics. Also, 
there's another Apple has confirmed that you know the iPod classics they're still alive and well but to be honest I don't know why people would actually still have them that's my opinion and now they've all gone over to have a look at the iPod Nano I will write all the links down in the crotch as they call it on YouTube so it's all finished there's all these other things you can have a look at but looking at the picture that's what the iPod Nano is. Very decent to be honest, but I wouldn't go for it. iPod Touch all the way. Okay, so that's Windows 7 Blogger. And if you want to ask any question, put them down in the comments. Apart from that, Windows 7 Blogger, you will catch me in the next video.